Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our flex fuel tuning feature we have available to us in our tuner studio software. So if we want to go and run ethanol as a fuel, we're going to be finding that our ethanol content blend can change based on how much gasoline and ethanol are mixed together. So pump gas, 93 octane pump gas or 91 octane pump gas in the United States is typically 10% ethanol. Now, as we add more ethanol, our ethanol content will go up higher and higher. We can get all the way to pure ethanol that's E98. That's going to be as pure as we can get. So we're going to be finding if we use a flex fuel sensor, it can detect how much ethanol content is in our fuel system. It can report that back to our micro squirt or omega squirt in a frequency output from the sensor. Now we're going to be taking that frequency output, inputting it into the mega squirt or the micro squirt, and using that to vary our fuel and ignition timing based on whatever the ethanol content is. We're going to be finding we can have a huge gain in power with this flex fuel feature and we can vary how much ignition timing and how much fuel so that we don't have to worry about what our ethanol content level is. It's going to simply adjust both of those as we're driving around and the ethanol content can change. So if you get in a situation where if you're uh, driving along and you have E85 in the car and you don't have any E85 gas stations, well, you're going to be in the situation where you're going to have to load another tune if you're going to put 93 octane back in the tank. There's going to be some cross mixing and you might not be all the way at E10, you might be at something like E20 or E30. That's going to be throwing off the tune, especially on the fuel side of things, really badly. So with the flex fuel, you don't have to worry about that. It's going to simply blend the fuel delivery and the ignition delivery in correspondence to the content percentage that the flex fuel sensor is measuring. So this is a great feature. It's very simple to set up. I'm going to be walking you through that. So let's get started so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at setting up and configuring our flex fuel to work in our tuner studio software. Now our flex fuel control is incredibly simple. We're going to be finding that uh, there's not a whole lot we have to change to implement this flex fuel strategy in our tuning and it's going to work extremely well for adding additional power especially in a force induction application. So the first thing that we need to do is add a flex fuel sensor to our vehicle. So we're going to be adding a flex fuel sensor into the return line of our fuel system. Then we're going to be finding it has three wires. We're going to find a power, ground, and a signal wire. The signal wire is going to get wired into the flex fuel specific pin on your mega squirt box that you're using. And in my application, in the demonstration that we're doing here, I have a micro squirt controller and I have my 